Thank you so much for your patience as we make a switch. Behind me is the seventh grade purple band, and our first piece this evening is called Frogs. And we um, have some sound effects that you'll hear in the back, and you heard some of that in the sixth grade tadpoles as well. There's actually something called a frog bureau, and are the professionals ready for a frog bureau? Yeah. So there's a couple of frog bureaus back there. Isaac and um, Ethan have one, and they're just going to play a couple of frog bureaus for you so you can hear what that sounds like. Go ahead and do that right now. Yes, there's more over here, too. And then, uh, thank you. And then we also have something called a rain stick percussion accessory instrument. Aaron is wanting that. Aaron, can you show them how that works at rain stick? And then can you turn it up? Yeah, and then hold it, hold it one way so they can hear that. Sounds like some rain falling in the back. And you're going to hear some other sound effects as well. I want to give them all the way. You'll hear some trills and the woodwinds, the flutes, clarinets, and alto saxophones have that, and some other fun percussion instruments as well. We hope you enjoy frogs.
Hello, I'm Mr. Miles. I'm one of the other band teachers here. And I wanted to recognize some students who did some awesome things in the seventh grade this year. First, we had three students in this group who made, auditioned, and made all district band as seventh graders, which is no small feat. I am very proud of them. We are all very proud of them. And that is Timothy Sigmund in trumpet section. Great. And then we have Helene Johnson in the horn section. And Patrick McLean in the horn section. Congratulations to all of you. They, have, they put on an amazing concert. It was, it was incredible. And, and Lena in the clarinet section. Thank you. This, this next one uh, is for students who participated in solo and ensemble assessment. These are students who either learned a solo or a duet or a pair as a trio. Um, and these students, I'm going to do my best. Um, we have Janisha Samaretti in the flute section. Amir Dabalachandra in the oboe section. On alto sax, Harshini Amarnath. Also in the saxophone section, Rita Sharma. And then in the clarinet section. Sasha Kamal in the clarinet section. Valentina Lee for live, sorry. Timothy Sigmund in the trumpet section. We have Lee Johnson in the horn section, also. Padre McLean in the horn section. Ryan Zappacall in the trombone section. There's the trombone section. There's the trombone And as far as I know, that's everyone. Did I miss anybody? Who else? Who wants to be rewarded? All right, cool. So congrats, is they all received the highest ratings of superior and excellent in their performances, which is no small feat also. So congratulations to all of them. Um, we hope this next piece puts you in the mood for a barbecue with some awesome sauce. Thank you. 
Good evening, my name is Mr. Phillip. I'm Jonathan Phillip, and I'm one of the band directors here at Leverage High School. And I've invited one of my students to um, come and talk to you just a, a, for, a, on one or two minutes about band in high school and some of the opportunities um, that he has uh, done. And uh, this is Tristan Holland. And Tristan, um, where are you going to school next year? Harvard University. Yeah. So um, he's done some really cool things and wants to, talk, to share those with the future generations. And because one of the things that happens is um, some students think that with STEM, they can't be a part of the arts. So he's really worked hard to, um, to incorporate both of those in his life. Thank you, Mr. Phillip. So I have to say that music has been the singularly most consistent thing throughout my entire life. I started piano lessons when I was five or six years old, and uh, from there I did guild performances. I had uh, six or seven teachers throughout my, because I moved around because I was military, I just uh, always had that with me. And when I was in seventh, seventh, sixth grade, sorry, I entered the middle school band program. And just as much as a uh, piano had carried through me through elementary middle school, I took a percussion at the same time. And I have continued to go back and rely upon those experiences that I had with my musicality, both the, the individualist aspect of the solo piano, the solo rhythm, but also for the group. Now, I have to say that music is the seemingly most engaging thing for somebody to do for the, their development of their own mind. I solely credit my work ethic, my, work ethic, my, uh, um, my ability to absorb information, my uh, dedication to what I do to my experience with music. Right? When you're working at a piece, there, you're engaging so many different pieces of your mind together at once. You're trying to memorize the music, you're trying to look at it, engage the muscle memory in your fingers, trying to figure out how to express your emotions in the music, and that just goes to create such a perfect way to facilitate learning. And then you can apply that to your academics, you can apply that to your extracurriculars, you can apply it to the greater life as a whole. Now on top of just the personal benefit I feel like I've, I've derived out of music as an academician, I would say that I secured a community through band. My close friends are all musicians. Um, marching band has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. I cannot even begin to explain the ways I've grown as a leader, an instructor, a mentor, and a friend through my experiences in marching band. And as Mr. Phil was saying before, right, the division between the humanities and STEM do not, should not, and hopefully will not exist into the future. And uh, I know a lot of kids, when you're like making especially bigger class schedules, um, you're saying, okay, do I have to give up math for this? Do I have to give up uh, my STEM elective for this? There are so many different opportunities for you to explore both, and I implore you to uh, um, make the consideration for music, right? I've been able to balance an incredible amount of extracurricular activities and service to the community on top of band. Um, and I've kept that in my class schedule just because I want that reliability. Um, and I really do hope that everybody here will take the experiences that they have with their music, take it to the next level, and let those experiences fuel the rest of their high school, their college, and hopefully greater life experience. Thank you. to start as our robotics club, and uh, they have a division that's open now for 8th grade. Um, so sometimes students going to 8th grade are like, oh, I'll take robotics, but they can come to do this and then stay in music. So, I, did forget, I did forget to mention this very important piece. So yes, the Blackbridge First Robotics Competition team is uh, it's really my, my, my baby, my child. Um, I, start, I did it when I was, uh, I did first robotics since 6th grade, and then I started multiple teams, um, FLL, First Technology, First Robotics. And it's, a, it's really an authentic, real-world experience with uh, mentors, with different teachers. You're using real tools to build real solutions. And not only that, you're uh, alongside developing your academic and working knowledge of 
different engineering components, different mathematics components, different programming, and, uh, computer aided design, all sorts of things like that. You're also applying this knowledge, not just to a competition, but also to help the greater community. And I encourage anybody who's interested in learning about these things, anybody who really wants to dedicate their life to a service to others, to uh, consider this opportunity. And you guys can explore this while you're in eighth grade. Um, just come to Lightridge, email myself or uh, our sponsor, Mr. T, or Dr. Busby, and we can uh, get you guys hooked up with the meetings that we're, we're having, and uh, hopefully can uh, matriculate you into our team coming into uh, freshman year and beyond. Awesome. Thank you, Jason. about the ice cream truck. Um, so after the last piece uh, is over, students are going to um, get their cases from their respective storage rooms and then meet you at the front of the school where you enter. And then we ask that you form a line, not curving into the school, but go past the uh, flagpoles out um, the sidewalk alongside the school so that it, um, so that it, it makes it as easy as possible to make that. And then uh, as you get close to the ice cream truck, just be looking at what's available. Um, on Tuesday, the, the, the thing that took the longest was deciding, so there's so many choices. So you can look at what's available and know when you get there, that would really, really help. And just a shameless plug, that's the same ice cream truck that will be at Summer Grand this, this summer. So we hope to see you there. Uh, thank you so much and um, for being a great audience here at Larry.